Hey everyone, um, before I show you this next video of the geocaching we did this weekend, which is really pretty good one, um, I had to share a little bit of something that only my very, very close friends and family know about me. Um, I have a handicap. Um, I was actually born without a sense of direction. Now, no offense to anybody who has any other kind of handicap, and I know way more serious than that, but it really is a handicap to me. I have not been able to go places by myself in so long. I mean, since I was able to drive at 16, it was very, it's detrimental to my life. It really is. I cannot do things that other people can do. I don't have the freedom of that because my sense of direction is gone. There is none. There is none there. Um, I can't even go to the mall without getting lost. I honestly can't. I can't remember what direction I was going in when I come out of a store. Um, I can not hardly read a map, a regular map. Um, my husband would get so aggravated at me sometimes because he'd be asking me to read the directions to a place we haven't been to before and here I am holding the map upside down. I mean, no no joke. It, it's really bad. and. Well, he doesn't get aggravated so much anymore because he understands it. Um, he understands it is a handicap and he um, wouldn't ask a person without sight to drive. So he's not going to ask a person without um, the sense of direction to navigate. So we get along pretty good in that respect. But I mean, I, I, I'm serious. It is really, really bad. Um, I've gotten my sisters lost in the woods on regular paths. I mean, marked paths. I've actually taken them off the trails and we've gotten lost on... We actually, um, they, they joke about it all the time, but it's not even funny for me because I it is a serious thing. It has um, not allowed me to be as free as I would like. And so um, you can understand that geocaching is kind of stepping out of my box because I, I am afraid to do that. And I really do realize I have to be with people to go because uh, I could easily get lost in the woods. I could easily get lost on the road. <laughs> I mean, I can't even find my car in the parking lot half the time. Um, my husband and I went to Disney World once and I got lost in Tom Sawyer's cave. You know, uh, honestly, I mean, it is really, really bad. But anyway, um, this uh, video, it, it shows me stepping out of my box a lot and still making mistakes, of course. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Also, what's really exciting about this video is that I got to combine something that I'm also passionate with, which is abandoned places. And I, I haven't had to been able to visit a lot of abandoned places in my life, but this um, we I happened to be by one in this video, and uh, we stopped and, and observed it. And it's the um, American Foam and Fabric Company, and um, it's a mill, and the whole town surrounding this fabric company was actually generated for people to work there. A lot of people did work there. It closed in 2005, but they're tearing it down. And fortunately, not everything is torn down. And some of the coolest stuff is still up. So we were able to videotape, well, I was able to take photographs. So what I did is I put these photographs in the back of this video. And I hope you really enjoy them because it's, it's just fascinating to me. Okay, take care. And for all of you with the same handicap as me, you understand, I'm sure. My sister Lisa's first geocaching trip. Lisa My found first her first. Yes. Woohoo! It looks like a bullet. It's like Christmas. This was a nice park, but what in the world is a virtual cache? Jeannie's coordinates say Tibet, so we're really far off. <laughs> Even this guy couldn't help us. We gave up. Forget that. Okay, Lisa, put it back in and pop it back up. I'm going to try to make a video of it going out. That's how it was. Okay. Goes a fiddler. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are the bomb. That you is so cool. And it says 
wheelchair accessible, so it's probably not Oh possible. yeah, it's not in the woods. Lisa was on a roll. Not me. Okay, so guess what? I locked my keys in the car. So we're stuck out here and uh, waiting for somebody to bring me the keys. So my friends are just being very gracious to me and letting me just find the geocache that was over here, letting us find it without freaking out because, ah, uh, that's the way it goes.